Hello everyone and welcome to Lemon TV. Today I'm going to be reviewing um, the Nokia 7 Plus which is brought to you courtesy of HMD. So without wasting too much time I'm sure you must have heard about the um, the Nokia 7 Plus and its features. Um, just for starters it comes with a full HD plus 6 inch display. It's an um, IPS LCD, so you have very naturalistic colors. Um, it comes with 4 gig RAM, which is more than ample enough for you to have your um, your applications running, which is, you can notice I have a lot of applications here. Um, you have 64 gigs of inbuilt storage, which guarantees that you are going to have ample amount of space. Now, it comes in a dual SIM variant, um fortunately or unfortunately it's um, a hybrid sim so you can either use um, two sims or you can use a sim card and a memory card now let's go into the design hmd's flagship mid-range device is surrounded by a Corning's Gorilla Glass 3 at the front which gives it some resistance to scratching and breakage um, if you notice, I have a screen guard on it for those of us who are a bit careless with our phones. It's usually advisable to get one. Um, the back and the rest of the body is laced in all aluminium. Um, according to HMD, it's been polished about five to six times to give it this ceramic feel. Um, some argue that it apparently feels a bit plastic, but I think this is very premium for a phone um within this price range um yes um if you check the frame you can see um another um color which is um the copper color so you have two variants of this phone in terms of color you have the black and the copper frame um and then you have the white and the copper frame um i don't have the white and copper frame edition here with me but i'll just be working with what i have here As Elia said, um, it houses a 6 inch full HD plus display, which is a tad better than a full HD. Um, it has a Corning's Gorilla Glass 3 and um, it's an IPS LCD screen. So if you notice, the colors are, are a tad more vibrant than your regular screen, probably because it's a full HD plus. It still gives very vivid colors, but not colors that are overblown and um, look artificial so you have um a Corning's gorilla glass tree which ensures that you have a bit of protection from falling and scratches i always recommend for those of us who feel a bit careless about handling phones to um, get a screen guard and um, attach as you notice i already have one here sorry that's not for you so i have a screen guard on the phone and um, it's doing its bit by protecting the phone from um um, longer falls and from breaking um, yeah so we'll be moving on to um, the user interface which will be up shortly for the sake of just for the sake of clarity um, the previous um, pages had um, an EV launcher which is my preferred launcher um, when I'm using phones this comes with a default um, Google launcher which is the stock launcher that you get on um, regular Google phones um, so because it's running Android 8 points um, let's see if it's I think it's um, Android 8.1 although I've done an update I think it comes with Android 8.0 you can see it here Android version 8.1 so with Android version 8.1 comes a bit of performance improvements and um, UI changes which is evident by noticing that the um, notification panel up here is now white instead of the traditional dark transparent and then the settings have changed so the settings actually changed from Android 8.0 but then it has a cleaner feel um, right now on 8.1 so as usual you slide up to access the menu and then you have all your applications in one place but then, like I said, I prefer to use the EV launcher, which is my favorite launcher. You can actually change launchers. 
Um, you can't change fonts, however, um, except you root the phone well. So if you if you know how to root a phone, then that's ideal. But if you don't, I would advise that you don't do that because you could spoil your phone or you could shipwreck it and then you have to start all over again. So um, basically, this is a stock launcher. I also have the Nova launcher down there and I have the EV launcher, which um, are my preferred modes of um, having a different UI from the stock one. So as usual, you slide up to access, you have your notification panel up here and you can change to whatever launchers that you like. Performance wise, how does this phone stack up against its competition? Well, it's a 4 gig RAM phone with a Snapdragon 660 processor. Now, according to um, information circling around the whole internet, the Snapdragon 660 is an energy conserving processor which still delivers close to a high end, very close to a high end processor on the market right now. This, in comparison to the Snapdragon 835, would give it probably a run for its money. It's, it's, not, it's not the exact performance, but then you get something really close to it. So it handles everything that I throw at it. So I'm going to um, switch on my hotspot right now. And then I'm going to... Um, I'm going to launch a game which I was playing previously. So I just want you to have an idea of how it handles gaming. Um, I think gaming is quite remarkable. It handles a whole lot of applications without necessarily closing them. So far, I've been using this phone for um, a month plus and um, I've not had any issues with hanging. Um, all my apps run pretty well. This is a future fight which is a high um, graphic intensity game and it loads pretty well it plays pretty well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open this game and then i'm going to open a few other apps and then i'm going to see if it's going to continue so like i said it comes with 4 gigs ram 64 gigs inbuilt processor um, it's an octa core processor based phone so you don't have issues with hanging so um let's see um i'm just gonna do something um very easy sorry for that i'm gonna do something very simple and hope that you um, have an idea of what the phone um how the phone behaves in terms of handling applications so while this is in the background i would like to open another one which is a modern combat i have two high-end games on my phone so I'm going to open them side by side and we're going to alternate them. Um, I could also open some other applications if you want, but I think I should focus on these two so far. And so it's opening quite nicely. Um, yeah. I think I like it. Oh, goodness. I don't think I can stop this. Uh, Lord. Okay, anyway, so um, the whole idea is to actually check performance and um, I'm going to go back to this and yeah, it does open quite nicely and then it continues. So I could open a host of other games um, or applications. I can open my um, Google Chrome and um, I could open that grape juice um, and see how fast it opens. Uh, mind you, this is a Wi-Fi hotspot and I'm connected to and the browsing speed may not be stellar. But then the phone being a 4G phone means that your browsing, depending on your network, is blazing fast. It's basically the fastest speed you can get on any mobile phone aside the 5G. Camera-wise, this phone has... Um, Arguably the best camera on any Nokia phone currently running on um, Android. So HMD has decided to put two cameras at the back and one camera in front. But there's a twist. So um, one of the cameras at the back is a telephoto lens. So basically what that means is that it actually helps to take... Um, pictures of um, close-up pictures so if you're taking a portrait it comes in very handy um, it has a 12 megapixel 
and 13 megapixel set of lenses at the back so the second one is obviously for your regular shots and it has a a dual um, tone flash at the back you can notice it um, let me put it close uh, zoom yeah so you can notice it one is yellow one is orange and then it has a 16 megapixel camera at the back at the front sorry so how does this perform in real life situations for the I'm going to be posting some pictures online so for the um, rear facing cameras during daylight it captures amazing shots the shots are very vibrant um, full and rich of rich in color not necessarily um, overblown and over um, overblown and over uh, saturated it just gives a good deal of color colors are very accurate they are almost 100 percent accurate in terms of color reproduction details are spot on it gives very good details in daylight um at night time i wouldn't really say there is a best camera because um that's where a lot of cameras actually mess up at night time so night time basically you have um cameras that deliver manage to try to deliver very good shots but then still fail because they don't have large enough sensors and a large enough aperture so mainly those are the two things that we should be considering in night shots so you have um, apertures and you have um, your sensor size so the sensor size is a typical mobile phone sensor like I said the lenses are Zeiss optics so it gives you amazing shots at night time it actually delivers very good shots for a phone um it delivers a consistent amount of detail um color reproduction is not all that but it's a lot better than a lot of other phones it allows in a lot more light because um according to hmd it has a um an f aperture uh, an f stop aperture of 1.7 which is ideal for taking night shots on the front you have a 16 megapixel camera which promises amazing selfies so you are taking selfies at any time of the day now the good thing is that it copies a bit from its older sibling the nokia 8 by giving you the bothy um um the bothy thing so basically you can actually take shots of what's in front of you and what's behind you at the same time so you can do videos and then you can actually um you can actually take pictures and record your videos and post live on Facebook or Instagram or yeah so but then the camera app is limited to just Facebook and YouTube so you can do that live on the camera app all you have to do is sign in to your account and you're good to go don't mind my legs are horrible okay now those are my shoes as well terrible so um, for the selfie camera let's see do I do this yeah you're gonna be seeing my bony structure just now so that's the selfie camera if you notice I'm using a phone to do that but then you can see how clean the images are they're very very vibrant and very clear so I'm gonna be posting some pictures that I've taken with the camera and the selfie camera at the same time so you can have an idea overall this is the hands-down best camera phone that HMD has made since it started making Android devices. I would recommend this if you are after camera. Battery life. HMD has actually um, put in this phone a 6 inch full HD plus display, a 3800 plus milliamp battery. Now what does that mean? In um, a common day you have phones that are usually 3000 2007 and below and you find out that these phones can actually very nearly take you through the entire day which is quite difficult but with that extra juice hmd is assuring that this phone takes you into the second day so basically on a moderate to heavy usage you should get at least two days of battery life on a light usage well i don't know i haven't done that but um and i spend um i spend the entire day playing games it should take me from uh, morning when i leave for work and gets me back to my house without any issues and i still have battery to say oh i want to sleep i'll wake up tomorrow and charge the phone 
But you know how Nigeria is now. There's never any light. But there's usually light at the wrong times. So in terms of battery, this delivers outstanding battery life. Coupled with Android 8.1, which improves on um, app battery consumption um, for apps and um, the OS itself and the phone itself. So you're, you're getting a phone with beautiful battery life. Pricing, should you buy this phone? Okay, so let's see. Pricing. Hmm. Okay, I think I didn't do that. Pricing. Um, currently in Nigeria, this phone retails for 135,000. Um, yes, if you if you want to get one, um, you can actually hit a link below, and I will put you through on how to get one. Um, um, yes, in stores it comes with a year's warranty. So, whatever factory related issues you have, um, you have a year to um, do that. It's not waterproof; it's splash proof. So that means if it dips into water, you should be praying that the phone doesn't get damaged. Um, yes. Should you be buying the phone? Um, yes, a, a Snapdragon 660 processor with 4 gigs RAM, 64 gigs inbuilt storage, 3800 plus milliamp battery, um, trial set of cameras, a 16 megapixel selfie camera, and a 12 and 13 megapixel front facing camera, Android 8.1, which promises um, two years of upgrades, so you should be getting Android 10. And this is guaranteed by HMD, so it's no slack. Um, should you be buying this phone? Yes, in terms of competition, it is vastly cheaper. And running stock Android, it is a hands-down better performer when it comes to um, apps running. It has no unnecessary apps that come with it. It just comes with Google applications. So you get the liberty to choose what you need to download. And with 4G capability... In this size and this form factor, trust me, it's a buy. It's um, a phone that you would like to buy. And um, if you have a spouse or you have a girlfriend or you have a boyfriend, it's something that you would want to buy for them as a gift to appreciate them. Don't steal money anyway. So, um, this is a hands-on review of the Nokia 7 Plus. Um, feel free to subscribe and um, like this video if you need to or if you should because at some point you'll be getting sweepstakes and give out so if you're lucky you might just be one of them so all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down there and hit the bell button so that as soon as a video is posted online you'll be among the first persons to have a fresh um, view of the video and um, obviously you, you'll be fast enough to win those sweepstakes so signing out for me here, my name is Lemon, speaking for Lemon TV. Have a lovely and amazing week ahead.